Hi guys, it's Nicole and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be trying Daisy Keach workouts for a week. I've seen her workouts trending on YouTube and TikTok, so I wanted to try them out myself. The videos I used were her hourglass ab 10 minute workout and quarantine bubble butt workout. Keep watching to see how I did with the workouts, how it progressed throughout the week, and then the results. Hope you guys enjoy and let's get into it. Welcome to day one of trying out Daisy Keach's workouts. I just got to the gym and I'm about to walk in. I'm doing her hourglass ab workout and then her quarantine bubble butt workout. Before I do those though, I'm actually gonna go into the cardio room and do 12 through 30. It's on the treadmill, it's 12 incline, three speed for 30 minutes. I'm doing it because I'm a little rusty with working out. I haven't been to the gym since before Spain. So I'm just gonna get my body moving first and then I'll head up into the women's only gym. Oh my gosh, I'm really hoping that there's not too many girls here today because I feel like I'm gonna be struggling with the Daisy Keach workouts just because I haven't worked out in so long so hopefully there aren't too many girls but you know what who cares if there are anyways let's go into the gym and start working out My butt is on fire. Dude, I'm like hoping not to trip down the stairs right now. That's how bad my legs hurt. First day done. I'm definitely gonna be sore tomorrow. Like there's no way I won't be. Let me talk to you guys in the car. All right, here is my review for day one of trying Daisy Keach workouts. Okay, so already from day one, I can tell that these are going to be effective because I felt the burn for each of the workouts like right away. From the first workout, the crunches, I already felt it in my abs. And then the butt, oh my gosh. <laughs> My legs. My legs, bro. But I can't wait to continue this week. I definitely felt more of the burn from the butt workout. I don't know if my legs are just weaker than my abs, but yeah, I definitely felt more pain during that one. But yeah, hopefully my form gets better throughout the week. Hopefully it gets easier throughout the week. Like I said, I'm definitely gonna be sore tomorrow. So I'll update you guys tomorrow morning if I feel it or not. But I'm gonna go home, make my green smoothie, but I will see you guys tomorrow morning with day two. Welcome to day two of trying Daisy Keach workouts. Okay, so it's currently the afternoon. It's 3.30 p.m. this morning. My abs were so sore. Every time I tried to sit up or like I accidentally coughed, they hurt so bad. Surprisingly, my butt, not as much. Like, my abs are more sore than my butt. I'm feeling good, though, so I'm going to go to the gym right now. I'm going to do the same thing, do 12 through 30 on the treadmill first, and then go to the women's gym and try out the workouts. Let's do a little progress check on my body. Day two, this is how we're looking like. But anyways, let's head to the gym. I'm pretty 
shirts because of the workouts yesterday but 12 through 30 was honestly a lot harder than i thought it was gonna be like it was harder than yesterday because i could definitely feel it in my legs since the incline is 12 so you feel the burden in your legs <sighs> so i felt it but now i'm walking to the only women's gym and we're gonna do the workouts day two <laughs> it was so hard oh my gosh literally the first ab workout i was like okay this is not bad like pretty good and then like the end of that first workout i was already feeling it like my abs are so sore from yesterday i had to modify a few and like take a longer break <sighs> because i was just so sore and i like couldn't get through <laughs> like what it actually was and then for the butt workout i think i sweated more during the ab one but the butt one was also pretty hard again i'm just like sore from yesterday so <laughs> it was definitely a challenge but we got through it very proud i'm debating if i should take a rest day tomorrow because i feel like if i'm working out when i'm so sore then i don't know if it's beneficial or not you know so i'll decide how i feel tomorrow morning and then update you guys but that was day two we did it see y'all tomorrow hi guys welcome to day three so it is the next day and i am going to the gym i did wake up sore like i definitely still feel it in my abs and my butt but i decided i want to do this challenge like consecutively for the seven days so i'm just gonna keep going every single day despite how sore i am so yeah i'm gonna do the same thing 12 through 30 and then the workouts let's go to the gym pretty well it was definitely still challenging like my legs were shaking but it was less difficult than yesterday which is good so that means we're making progress so yeah i felt pretty good i'll see you guys tomorrow hi guys welcome to day four it's the next morning and i'm about to head to the gym but guess what i'm not even sore today i mean i was feeling it yesterday but then i woke up this morning i was like oh my god i feel perfectly fine so that's good that means my body's getting used to the workouts so yeah i'm gonna fill up my water and then we'll head to the gym I would say today was definitely the most easiest out of this whole week. Don't get me wrong, it was still challenging. I was still sweating a lot and I could feel the burn, but I can tell my body's getting more used to the workouts and it's definitely not as hard as the past three days. Also, I can see more definition in my abs, which is great. So yeah, really good workout. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hello, welcome to day five. I can't believe it. We're only three days away from finishing this challenge and we're over halfway there. But I'm about to head to the gym right now and I'm feeling good. I'm like not sore at all, but I want to do a little progress check with my body. I feel like my sides are getting more cinched and like thinner. I don't know too much about my butt. I feel like that takes a little longer. Like you don't see that much progress over a week. But in terms of like abs and like how my stomach looks, the workout is definitely helping me. But anyways, let's go to the gym for day five. <laughs> workout was good and it just keeps getting easier hey guys welcome to day six it's a beautiful saturday morning about to head to the gym i can't believe i'm already done with this challenge video tomorrow it's crazy okay let's go Hello guys, 
welcome to day seven of trying days of keto workouts it's the last day of this video um i can't believe we made it but i'm about to head to the gym right now here's a little progress check on my body yeah okay let's go seven days done here's my review for day seven compared to the first day so much easier didn't sweat as much didn't burn as much and i can just tell like my body was like used to the workout so it wasn't as hard okay now i'm going to talk about the final review for the whole week all right here's my final review for trying out daisy keys workouts for a week i think overall these are really good workouts hourglass abs and quarantine bubble butt personally my fitness goals are just to stay healthy fit and then tone my body and i think these are perfect for that because obviously everyone's bodies are different and you're not going to get the same results in the same amount of time so if you've seen other people get like faster results or slower results it really just depends on everyone's body but i would totally continue these myself because these are the things that i work out anyways like abs but so i think these videos are like a great guide of what i can continue doing talking about from like the first day to the last day oh my gosh i was struggling the first day i would say the first three days are definitely the hardest first day didn't know what i was doing i didn't even know if i was doing the workouts correctly but i felt the burn right away i was like sweating and the next morning i was so sore my legs were like shaking from the butt workout and then kind of the same thing with the second and third day it was still very challenging and then also adding my soreness on top of the workouts it was even harder after the first three days though it definitely did get easier like i've said in the video my body kind of just got used to it and knew the workouts more so fourth fifth sixth seventh day i still felt the burn and it was still a challenge but it was definitely not as hard as the first three days so my final consensus i would definitely recommend these workouts for anyone to try as you guys saw in the video i did 12 through 30 on the treadmill before doing the workouts every single day and personally i thought that was a good decision just to get my body moving because I'm pretty sure I've heard this. I don't know if it's correct, but I think you're supposed to start with cardio first before doing other muscle groups. I don't know, but I usually do the treadmill anyways first before doing any other workouts. So I did that every single day and it was good because it just got my body moving before doing abs and butt. Oh my God, I didn't even show my results. Here is a before and after. Again, it's only been a week. So I don't know if you're gonna see like the quickest results, but I definitely will continue doing these workouts. I think they definitely toned my abs. I do feel stronger like with my abs, with my legs. So that's good. Um, what else did I want to say? Oh, for the butt workout, if I continue this, I think the next step for me would start using the bands, like the workout bands. Those are like resistance bands that help with the workout even more and like make it a little harder. So hopefully I can get stronger and use bands with the butt workout. But besides that, I would say this whole week was definitely a challenge. Some days I was like, I don't really feel like going to the gym, but we did it all seven days and I feel great. So yeah, this is going through the end of trying Daisy Keach workouts for a week. Let me know if you guys want more videos like this, like kind of challenge workouts or, or different challenge videos. I don't know. But I had a super fun time trying these videos out. Again, they'll be linked down below if you guys want to check them out as well. But that's it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment down below, subscribe to my channel, turn on post notifications, and go cop some self-care Coley merch. I'll see you guys back with another video. I love you guys so, so much. Stay positive. Bye. Mwah.